Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekly dose of ed tech and learning resources from the editors at Common Sense Education. I'm Tanner, and I'm here with Chrissy. We're the two editors over on Common Sense Education, which you can find at this web address, a bunch of free reviews. And this show comes out every Tuesday on this YouTube channel. So stay tuned if you like this video to subscribe. Chrissy, it's your responsibility to come to the table with something that's going to wow us. That's just going to blow our minds. What is it? What have you got? I got it. I got it for you. It is called Spark 101. And here's why it's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind because it's entirely free, which, you know, we try to provide you some great recommendations for entirely free resources. But this particular resource is STEM focused, as you can see here. So the four basic content areas of this site are science, technology, engineering, and math. And they are let me just click it and I'll, I'll just show you. No, no, um, no A though. No arts. Get out of here, no. arts. It's This is no. STEM only. Steam? Pfft, steam. And no, no STEM. STEAM, which is no. science, no. humanities, steam. technology, steam. engineering, arts, and math, otherwise known as school. <laughs> no sweet, sweet steam. No, <laughs> no, this is STEM. Just keeping it, keeping it simple. Basically, what this resource offers is a series of videos where kids can actually apply STEM to real world problems as a real world scientist or mathematician would do. So it brings STEM alive. That's one of the things that I really love about it is that um, as you click through, I'll just go, ugh, I, I was logged in. I was logged in. <laughs> Come on. You're giving people the real um, experience. Yes, indeed. I Indeed, I am. Um, what exactly you're going to find is snapshots of actual scientists with video interviews kind of explaining what they do. But it's not um, it's not like so and so Joe Smith scientist. It actually dives into different careers that are more specific. So one of the reasons I wanted to showcase this resource is because I remember when I was in school thinking about, you know, a career that would involve science or math. I I wasn't really clear on what those options would be exactly beyond like research or working in a lab. Like it was very hard for me to envision what jobs would truly use these um, subject areas on the daily. And one thing that I love about this is that it represents very specific scientific and mathematical fields where these subject areas are applied on a daily basis and it provides diverse representations of people working in the STEM fields. So as we know, representation matters and what you'll find in these videos is actual people who are working in these fields who kids can see um, and you, get some, you know, a little info on what those people actually do in their jobs. So it, it brings it to life in a different way. Um, does, does the review maybe have a, some screenshots of? Yes. Here we go. Thank you for suggesting that. Yeah, um, so there you get a little look. Yeah, you get more of an insider. I apologize. I did not. Well, I I was logged in. I don't know what happened. Everybody, well, interestingly, but... I this is a tidbit people should know. I just tried to log in as well, and they're having some issues with Google's authentication, which okay. may hint at some privacy work they've got to do. So your mileage may vary here, but it looks like you can still sign up um, with an email outside of Google, but the login with Google button is currently not, not working. Okay. Thank you very much, Tanner. That's extremely helpful. Um, so here, you know, you can see that there are these videos that provide some, 
some peaks into the fields. Um, there are materials that go along, education pathways that kids can see that would lead them. Um, and then you, you can see how this information might be applied to a real world problem. So kids are actually using their STEM skills in on problems that the people in the careers are trying to solve, which is a great applied way. Yeah, and that, um, because it's embedded in the video, this would be great solo or group, right? And I could even see, I wonder if you could use a tool like Edpuzzle um, to capture data around students thinking with those prompts. Like you could maybe embed this in Edpuzzle, add those questions in and, and get some data. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. Um, and you can see here they have lesson plans. One one criticism that we have is that trying to search and organize um, the materials isn't super easy. They do a lot of it by standard, um, mm. which might be helpful in certain settings and for certain educators. But you know, being able to search in different ways would, I think, really be helpful. Um, so here's one of the career snapshots that I was talking about: data analytics. Um, you know, I think unless a kid knows somebody who works in data analytics, it might not be entirely clear what somebody in that field would do. Um, and here is a software support technician and a person who, you know, I think kids could see themselves in. Um, yeah, not someone in like a, a suit and tie and, you know, right. someone who is a little bit more relatable, right? Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. So I think it's it's definitely worth um, poking around, seeing what might be helpful for you to use. You can use pieces. You can just use the videos of um, uh, the scientists and mathematicians who are working in different fields as inspiration. Have kids do a little career exploration. You know, whatever might be helpful for your classroom. But again, all free. Uh, log in hopefully will become easier. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's spark 101 in a, in a tiny nutshell. Yeah. It's, it's so important to provide examples of careers outside of the ones people already know and show these other pathways that involve a, a a set of skills that students are learning in the classroom. I remember when I was in school, I would have been really inspired by seeing like web design, which was a new thing back then. But it just, it felt like the career exploration we were doing was in very typical paths like engineer, doctor, you know, or factory worker or something like that or like park ranger i remember was a big one on like these career surveys and meanwhile there were like these really new exciting nascent fields that bridged like different content areas um and i think just showing that possibility especially someone who maybe looks like you can really be a decision point in people's lives like Yes. Uh, students are hungry to, to figure out what their path is, what, what's next. You know, it can be really hard to even figure out what to major in when you're first entering college. So just simp just showing a bunch of different examples can have a powerful effect. So it's great to see yes. something like this, especially focused on STEM, which can feel a little intimidating or weird or what really goes on, or maybe it feels boring or something, you know. Right. And it, and it also shows that it's reachable. You know, you can, yeah. you can get into these fields. It's not yeah. an impossible dream of, uh, you know, eight, 10 years of school yeah. beyond high school. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So Spark you can find, everyone. yeah, Spark 101. You can find that review in commonsense.org slash education. You can come back here every Tuesday for more episodes like this. And Hopefully, you'll subscribe, maybe watch another video, do whatever you want. <laughs> Enjoy it, people. <laughs>